I am practicing for a gig today and tomorrow. I'm gonna add a new song in there. Yeah. Also for today's vlog, I don't want to um, show the gig as much. I'll be filming it and making TikTok and reels out of it in little clips. But I actually wanna get moving on with the album because I'm excited about that. My name is Phil, I'm just Phil. Quiet on set, please. All right, here in Yorkville. Didn't take the train today, I got a lift. I drove down here. Today there's actually a show happening, live music, right after I finish up. So maybe we'll capture some of that after I'm done. But first is my show. Okay, it is the next day I'm in the car again because the GO train where I take from Pickering into Toronto isn't working. They only have buses and the car is available, so I'm taking the car. I know I said I wasn't going to talk throughout the gigs and I was just going to whoosh through, but I do have one pretty cool thing that happened. Remember that performance thing that was happening at night? That was happening right after my gig. Filmed a little bit of it. The headline artist is called Kaiza. She has one big famous song probably others too, but one that I know of. And it goes like this. So the cafe that I was in was backed on to the backstage of that stage. So the, the stage behind the stage was the cafe that I was playing at. And I was playing before Kaiser was gonna play, but in the cafe, not on the stage. Um, and she came, I had a feeling this might happen. She came in into the cafe. It's not like she's like super famous, but she's like, she's known. And Kaiser was doing sound check, and then she came into the cafe and while I was playing. And she sat in front and she listened to some tunes and she complimented my original music. I made sure to play some original music because she might like it. And yeah, she was super sweet and supportive of what I was doing. And then we had, yeah, we had like a little conversation while I was playing and stuff. And she said she was gonna follow me on Instagram, which she hasn't yet. I don't think she's one of the type of people to say she's gonna do something and not do it. She's very like grounded and like just a regular person. But I'll send her a message probably later today saying, hey, I'm that guy from the cafe. Thanks for being supportive. Yeah, not to make this conversation longer than it needs to be, but it's just cool. It's just a cool thing that happened and another thumbs up that's happened throughout these cafe gigs, you know, ever since I got started and running with this. There have been good signs, so that's cool. On to the gig. All right, so that was a great weekend, productive, and all that. Now to the album. Two things. Actually, three things, I guess. First of all, I've been enjoying doing these little sit-down podcasts, almost. They're like five to ten minute podcasts where I just talk. And I'm not trying to, like, perfectly say everything concise. Although, I try, I do try to do that, so you're not wasting your time. But I just, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. So, on to the album. First of two things. The instrumentation in this album is going to be somewhat familiar from what I've done especially in the last project. But the main thing I want is a more of a band feel to it, to the production. So I actually have plans to get my cousin, Marit Marks. He helped me with, uh, he helped me, he did more than that. He did, he did a lot. He produced and played drums on the first EP, Alone Mostly. He produced that. To this day, 
it's still a lot of people's favorite stuff for me so goes to show you yeah I would like to get him I've spoken to him already to get him to play drums on the tracks of this album I haven't had other instrumentation apart from what I've done in this room over four years now so I'm excited to do it and it feels right and it's kind of ironic that since I've changed my name to Just Phil I'm gonna actually get someone else to help me make stuff which I think is kind of poetic that how that happened so in the production style I want it to be intimate and raw but also quite big and impactful I know it sounds like a shitty sales pitch but what I mean by that is I want the the way that it's played to feel organic so you hear a little bit of mistakes and you feel the human element in there but also big instrumentations and arrangements that feel like they were thought out not just random so like a bit of like the solid like this is obviously planned but also uh, an organic and raw feel to it that's how it's made so that's yeah that's the production style so that's the first thing second thing i've thought about an album name i've been thinking about this a lot and i've been thinking about whether i should say it or not a lot as well but i'm at a point in my career that it doesn't i don't have a lot of people listening so i i can afford to say it and it's not a bad thing although i want to keep things close to my chest a little bit because it makes things more interesting but fuck it this is the process we're talking ouch ouch that's it ouch it will make sense when you listen to the album no but in all seriousness I'm actually really excited about when when an album title gets me like excited and I'm like internally smiling and also just like ooh, I get that feeling of like mm. I like a one word album title and something that I can like use consecutively. So like imagine I have a th three albums and they all have like a similarity, like Adele's numbered albums of her age, Ed Sheeran's thing of the the math symbols. Kanye West with the college dropout, late registration, graduation. So I like the idea of ouch, a reaction-based word. So ouch, wow, oh, yes, whoa, that, that kind of thing. And ouch really does fit <laughs> with the emotions and feelings that I've been feeling over the last while. So, yeah, that's... I'm I'm giving that. I'm giving that to you. You know, you take that you take that and you're lucky. That's it. I don't want to waste any more time cuz I want, I don't want to make these videos too long. And we have lots to talk about and we'll spread them out in videos. I don't want to just jam pack them all. You need things to look forward to, you know? Ouch. When will that come out? In the spring, maybe? Or in the fall next year? Who knows? I should know. Alright, see you in a few days.